Hi, my name is Kristen Disney and I'm a teacher with Epic Charter Schools and today I'm going to show you how to host a Kahoot game while having a Zoom meeting with your classroom or your group of students. So um, I'm fixing to screen share the Kahoot game onto my computer and how this looks for the student is when I start to screen share they will see the game played out on their computer. They need to have a smart device, an iPhone, a Kindle, um, a tablet, an iPad, something that will they can act that can act as their game controller. Okay, so this is the best way to play. Alternatively, students would have to minimize your Zoom screen, go open up a browser, go to the web address kahoot.it to play. Then they'll have to switch back and forth between the Zoom meeting and their browser and that gets a little tricky a lot of students figure out how to do this but the easiest way to do this is to have a handheld device in their hand while they're playing so to show how this is going to look from the student side as well as from um, the teacher side i'm going to switch to my document camera so that you can see what i'm doing on my handheld device so to switch to your document camera have it plugged into the usb port come over here to um, your video camera on the bottom left of your screen and switch to the USB camera. So now you can see what my document camera is going to be doing. So here I've gone to the web address Kahoot using Safari, but another way that you can join the game is by downloading the app. There is a Kahoot app and then if you join the app you would enter the game pin right here. So click this to join the game pin. Okay, so now I'm going to start my screen share with the class and I have an extra monitor here so a lot of times what I will do when I'm playing this game live is I will take these tiles and I will move them over to the extra monitor so that I can keep my eyes on the faces of the participants in my class while displaying the um, content on the screen through this game but for today's purposes I'm gonna leave it so that you can kind of see what I'm doing here on my camera Okay, so this is what a simple game looks like. I would never display this for the students ahead of time because this might give them a preview of what kind of material they're going to be covering. But I did want to show you today that this is what the game would look like um, when you go and you find a game that you want to play. Don't ever feel like you need to create a game every week that you play a game. Go find a game that suits your needs. And if it almost suits your needs, all you have to do is click these three little dots right here and duplicate the game. If you duplicate it, then you can go take out the question that says, what is Mrs. Smith's favorite candy bar? Nobody knows this except for the students that are in Mrs. Smith's class. So you could take that question out. All right, so now we're ready to play. I'm gonna hit play. And what you're gonna notice when you do this for the first time at your computer is that you're going to hear this annoying song come up in just a second. I'm not gonna have it come up on mine because I've already locked it down for our purposes. But I'm gonna show you that you can come up here and you can fix that annoying sound by right clicking on the tab and click unmute or it would be mute site, okay? I'll preview that for you in just a second. Um, classic game is what we want to play. All right. And actually I can't preview because I forgot screencast won't record the sound. It's pretty annoying. But if you want to turn off that sound, just right click up here and click, um, what would be called mute the site. Okay. So now the game pin has been displayed on the screen for the students to see. So the students will go to either the app or they'll go to Safari to kahoot.it and it says right up here kahoot.it and they will type in this game pin so that's what I'm going to do right now 9523789 enter the next thing that's going to ask them to do is to enter in their nickname oh I do not like nicknames so I go ahead and let the class know right away no nicknames just put your first name so I'm going to type in my first name um, the reason why I don't like nicknames is I can't remember who's Princess Pie, I can't remember who is Yoda, I can't remember who those students are, <laughs> so I just need them to put their real name. Okay, go. So now that student's name is going to display on the screen right here. So as a teacher, you're going to be counting all these names. Okay, we've got Kristen in the game. Who else are we waiting on? All these students need to be joined in. And this particular screen has a white background, so my name's not showing up over here. If a student happens to use the nickname that you don't like, 
you can click right here where their name is and it will kick them out of the game and it'll make them re-enter. I wish I had picked a game that had a background that you could see that. But, oh well, we will move on. So now to start the game, you click start. My, com my screen here is telling me that the game's beginning. Get ready. Two plus two. Now, the multiple choice selections are going to show in the color bars down here. So if I think the answer is four, I'm going to click the red tile. If the answer is six, I'm going to click blue. The answer is three, that will be orange and green for seven. So on my keypad here, I'm going to click the right answer. Then when everybody has answered, it will pull up a chart to tell us how many people got it right. You can see there's one player and that one person got that answer right. Zero people guessed the other color, so we've got one that everybody understands how to do. Next, and then I have a leaderboard. This score right here is based off how fast I answered the question correctly. Six plus three. I'm going to select nine. So since the answer is nine, I, as the student, am going to select the orange on my keypad. Next. And you just keep playing like this. Eight plus two. That is 10, so I am going to click green. You can see that if a student was trying to do this with um, opening up their browser and then clicking back to your Zoom screen that this could get very cumbersome. So this is the best way to play this game. All right, I'm on fire is what it says. I've gotten three right in a row. Six plus five is 11, so that's orange. As the teacher, you click next when you're done reviewing that problem. And I'll show you what what I mean by that. You can, as a teacher, intercede just a bit. So let's say that I click the wrong answer and I noticed, oh, we have somebody who, who got that answer incorrect. So what I like to use is the Chrome, the Chrome Page Marker app. It's in the Chrome store and it's a page marker app. And when you click on the pencil after you've downloaded it to your Chrome browser, um, it will come up with this little page marker. It allows you to draw on the screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use red for my color, although I can change the color, change the size, and I'm going to say class. This is one plus eight. And I can draw it this way for in case the class needed a review on how to um, put those answers one on top of another, those um, add-ins one on top of another, or I can even draw. I had one here, one dot, plus I am getting eight more and I can very rudimentarily, rudimentarily draw eight dots so I get them one two three four five six seven eight and we together as a class can count one two three four five six seven eight nine and we can review right here on the board in the middle of the zoom in the middle of the kahoot game in your zoom meeting to make sure that you can teach these concepts and the students know exactly what they're doing that way the next problem that comes up they'll get the right answer i can hit clear to wipe the board clean and i can hit close to get my page marker to go back up into the toolbar then i click next and we go try this again and see if we can get the right answer so 12 is red. Nine is red. Nine is green. So over here I'm clicking green. And 11 is green and one more problem and the game will be finished six six is blue so at the end it will give you a podium it will see that i am the grand winner there with 9767 66 points a total of nine questions correct out of ten now what you can do as a teacher is you can come over here and you can get your results you can go and figure out who, who did a really great job because the good thing about Cahoots is that it will never ever tell you 
um, who got the questions wrong. You may see that a student got a question wrong, but you won't know and the class won't know necessarily who got that question wrong. Okay, I'm going to change. Uh, oh, this is a really fun thing. They'll allow you to um, decide how much you enjoyed this game. I'm going to give it five, um, a rating of five. And did I learn something? Yes. Do I recommend this? Yes. And this game made me happy. And that also displays on your screen share to the students. So I'll show you what that looks like really fast. So when you click show feedback, you can see that everyone kind of enjoyed this game. All right, switch back to your regular camera on your computer. You would just click that arrow again and you can see me again. So that's a quick way that you can um, play Cahoots using your Zoom meeting. Make sure that students have a handheld device. That's always handy. And one way that I prepare them for this is that when I send out my reminder emails to the class um, a couple hours or an hour before class time, I'll say, we're meeting in an hour and we will play Cahoots. So make sure that you have a handheld device handy so that your playing is more easy. Um, so that's how you do that. Thanks for watching today.